how to set up Apache Web Server in a Docker container for Debian-like system with Ansible. There are a lot of advantages of running all the web server in a container and separating the web content. I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about how to deploy an Apache web server in a Docker container for Debian-like system. The full process requires six steps that you could automate completely with Ansible. Firstly, you need to install some system packages, specifically some Python and dependency using ansible.builtin apt ansible module. Secondly, you need to install the docker module for Python using ansible.builtin.pip ansible module. After that, you, need to, you could finally pull the image from the docker hub registry completely automatically using the community.docker dot docker underscore image ansible module. After that, you could you need to create the document root with the right permission with the ansible built in dot file module. And fifthly, you need to create the custom index.html. You don't want to look uh, uh, boring with uh, basic uh, index HTML placeholder. So use the ansible.builtin.copy ansible module to customize. Uh, you could upgrade this step uh, using the template module and create a wonderful placeholder page or maybe copy your content that you created outside of ansible. And finally you can run the container, the web server container, setting up the right port and volume setting using the community.docker.docker underscore container Ansible module. And that's it. Everything will be automated. So let's move on to a little demo and I will show you how to set up Apache web server in a Docker container for Debian-like system. Are you ready? Let's have fun! The place where to start looking for container is the official Docker Hub registry. This is one of the largest library and community for container images. You can find a lot of things, but probably it's convenient for us to look for HTTPD this is the official image shipped by Apache that uh, we are going to use in this demo. As you can see, there is uh, a lot of information in the description page and uh, how to use, the, how to use uh, the image, how to configure. And I really like this type of documentation. You uh, definitely need to take a look. One thing that I really need is to take a look on the available tags. The tags is, are like a special version of the app, usually of, of the image. Usually you are using the latest available and this is great. It's also certified that Log4Shell is not affected with image. And you can, uh, there are are like a special version that you can target for this image. As you can see, there is a lot of uh, different tags. I'm going to use uh, the latest, which is uh, the latest release, but feel free to customize the one that you need. Welcome to my editor. I will show you how to set up Apache Web Server in a Docker container for Debian-like system. Let's begin our play 
with the name deploy httpd on container that is going to target uh, hosts all of my inventory i need a root privilege so let me set become to true and let me disable gather of facts because we don't need on the variable side let me set it up the web root this is the directory where to store the content of your website under slash web root slash and then the task part began first task is to install system packages so to verify if they are already present using ansible.builtin.apt module let me name it some packages uh, we need uh, the python free pip this is useful to install any python module virtual env as well and python free dash setup tools these are all python things that are useful the version we would like to have uh, latest version available and let me also update cache metadata before installing this is useful to make it sure that we have the latest version second task is to install the docker module for python for this i need ansible.builtin.pip module uh, the name is called docker so easy busy that's it no more okay so now we are ready to pull the image from the docker hub registry uh, community dot docker dot uh, docker underscore image is the ansible module the name is the one that we see in the docker hub so httpd the source will be a pull request from the registry and we want the tag latest you can customize with a tag that you want uh, after that we could we need to verify that web root is present on the ubuntu machine so ansible.builtin.file let me specify the path in this case the value of web root variable and the state need to be a directory let me set it out also the custom index.html because i don't like this uh, placeholder from the distribution so i would like to customize a little bit the easiest way is to use the ansible built-in copy module destination will be under web root index.html and the content of this file will be very simple only some text uh, let me use the pipe operator to type on the next line i would like to show custom web page text you can paste your html or better replace with a template module finally we are ready to run our container this step is crucial and is going to use uh, community.docker.docker underscore container few parameters the name of a container web server the image that we are going to use httpd the state must be started we want to start the container didn't we okay that let's detach from the main process and let me expose uh, port 80 this is the port of the container so container explores port 80 and i'm going to redirect port a to port 8080 to port 80 so when you connect to port 1800 no 8080 you will be ready right to port 80 of container let me also mount the volume so it will be persistent 
uh, my web route will be connected to USR local Apache HT docs. Here we go. We have HT docs. We have our playbook in less than 50 lines of code. I'm able to pull one image and run with all the necessary parameters, as well as customizing the index page. Are you ready? Now? Finally, welcome to my terminal. I have a fresh Ubuntu machine to use to test it out this Ansible playbook. So let me connect DevOps is my username and ubuntuexample.com. As you can see, I need to accept SSH fingerprint because it's a fresh new. The OS release uh, will show you some detail of this machine, specifically the version and whatever. Let me try to use Docker from command line. He doesn't exist. Yes, wonderful. So I will show you how you could configure. First of all, let me install Docker. The easiest way is to use my previous Ansible playbook. So let me use it right here, right now. So let me install Docker. Here we go. Docker install for Debian is taking care of all the necessary steps. First of all, it uh, configure the some system packages, then it uh, create some uh, custom repository from the Docker and uh, set it out uh, all the uh, utility. Once it's done, Docker command line is available to use it. As you can see, it's taking care of downloading the GPG key to verify the packages and configure an extra repository where to download uh, the official Docker packages. It's going to take just a few minutes, no, not a lot, uh, just the time to download the packages and taking care of all the dependency. It's very useful to always have some uh, Ansible playbook where you can combine together and simplify your workflow. I don't want to wait a lot of time to download Docker, but it's good for you to see how to configure a fresh machine. Now the Docker command line is available. Let me print it out. For example, the version with Docker dash dash version. This is version 20.10. Okay, so pretty new. What happens if I would like to list uh, the images? Oh, I don't have permission. Okay, let me do sudo docker images ls. No image present. And this time let me list also the docker container. No container, uh, uh, not containers, probably only container sudo docker container without the s here we go is empty so this is a fresh machine with nothing configured now i could run my ansible playbook as usual let me specify the inventory under ubuntu i have an inventory file that is target only this machine but you can customize with whatever you need it and finally, I'm going to run my six step Docker HTTP for Debian playbook. Let me quickly remind that uh, it's taking care of downloading some system packages, configure the Python uh, Docker PIP module, and after that, pull the image HTTPD, configure the web root, the custom index html and finally run the container the execution is going to take a while it depends by your connection speed the performance of your machine so always this kind of stuff oh finally the system packages were present and the docker module for python was already installed wow i can spot it out because i have ok status now it's going to download the image this is going to take a while 
and configure all the necessary file. Wow, we did a great job, Ansible. Now, double, let's double check together if the container is really executing or not. Let me connect to my target machine, docker im, oh no, sudo docker images ls. I'm expecting to see some image. Oh no, why I can't see any image? Maybe it's running under the current user? No, I got a permission on it. Oh, something is not working here. But what happened with a container? Let me list. Okay, I'm expect was expected some permission denied. Let me do some sudo container ls. And our web server is ready. Is here. Wow, we got it. As you can see, you can clearly see that every connection to port 8080 is redirected to port 80 of the container. And the container is named web server as expected and run the HTTPD image. So everything is working. I don't know why the images doesn't list my, my Docker image, but anyway, everything is running. So the only way to see if everything is working is to use my wonderful browser. Now you know how to set up Apache web server in a Docker container for Debian-like system completely automatically with Ansible. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and in general keep in touch with me. I'm preparing a lot of adventure together for Ansible Pilot and to automate more of your IT infrastructure. Let's have fun! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!